Okay, we have another kit. SKU 769008. No, SKU 769088. There we go. Get it out onto a tray. Let's see what we got. A red PC board. Uh, ooh, look at that big capacitor. Wow. All right. It looks like a uh, EQ kit or an EEQ kit. I don't know. Uh, I've seen that before. I don't remember how to pronounce it. It looks like it must be a power supply, I guess. Hmm. AC 15 to 24 volts here. And what we got? Hmm, not quite sure about this one. A really big, really big transistor. Ah. All right. Uh, ooh, a 7824. I haven't ever seen one of those. 24 volt uh, three terminal regulator. And NEC 882, seen that before. Yeah, this looks like a big set. A D1047. Hmm. Well, that must go here. Looks like there's a place for a big heat sink. There's a big resistor in the middle. Ah, that must be a uh, current regulation. So 0.47 ohms. So, yeah, it must be some type of power supply. I'll have to look it up. Comes with a heat sink for heat sink for that one. And that one goes there. It's a nice big uh, nice big diodes. Love the capacitor. 50 volt capacitor. 3300 microfarads. I don't know. Should we figure out what it is or just start making it? Let's just start making it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's power supply of some kind. But uh, that won't stop us from soldering things down to the PC board. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. I always wonder about resistor values, whether uh, they're actually the correct value to use or whether it's just like, eh, I got a 10K here. Ah, 10K is fine. It's easy to... Easy to uh, Easy to remember. I don't know. <laughs> How much of uh, circuit design is just uh, really, really hardly calculated and some of it's just like, eh, close enough. Oh, I don't want this tip on here. I'm going to change out tips. I'll solder these down, but I'll change to a different tip. I'm going to change it now. That's driving me nuts. Oh, that's better. Oh, it's kind of sticking up in the air. Yeah. Okay.
All right. What else do we got? I've got 110, got 10k left over, but I don't see a spot for it. No. Try something else. One point five K. I saw that somewhere. There it was. Uh, two point one K. You're probably 2.2 Ks. Fifty seven K. Now there's a value you don't hear a lot of. Fifty seven K. Where would that be? Fifty six K. Right there. And must be another one somewhere. 56k. All right. Seven K. Thirty-three ohms. Thirty-three ohms.
4.7K. Oh, I found the other 10K, because they were here. Alright. And 1K, another 1K somewhere. Oh, there it is. Now, see, that was an 82 ohm. Now, you never, normally wouldn't have just randomly chose 82 ohms. You would have gone for 100 ohms, but so 82 must have been calculated. Bunch of, bunch of diodes. Uh oh, there's a 5.1 zener there. Better not get these messed up. Hmm, where's the 5.1 zener? Might look identical. Sure, that's the zener. Let's 
So that's a looks like there's two five point ones. That's interesting. Usually if you have one in the circuit and you generate five point one volts, you go ahead and use it everywhere, but for some reason this needed another zener. Alright. The other diodes are just 1N9, 1N914s or 4148s, whatever. I never did learn the physics of uh, Zener diodes. I never. Looked. I'm not sure what how that's achieved. All right. What else do we have? I have a bunch of capacitors. A 101. Uh, here's a 101. And uh, 224. It's kind of like doing a crossword puzzle, I'm trying to figure out what fits where. Another 101. And uh, 104. That's enough for now. Three three one. Interesting. Three three one. Sure. Uh, what else do we have? Have an LED. All right. What is this? Ten microfarads. Forty-seven. All right. U one, U two, U three.
Okay, I've got it all put together. Um, I've put a heat sink on that back transistor um, and I put a load on it here so when we turn it on I can I can use the uh, this LED here as a uh, as a 12 volt load. Um, so I went to see if I could find a schematic for this thing and uh, well I found a lot more than that. I should have looked first. Um, it actually uh, comes with really really nice instructions so you can download these the EQ kit uh, POW-CC, uh, uh, POW-CC, Power Supply Installation Instructions, Rev 1.0, 19, 2016. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, it tells you exactly step-by-step step how to put this together. So it's a really, really nice kit. Uh, so very, very good for that. And it talks about uh, what it can do. Input voltage 24, AC, uh, 3 amps max input current, output is 0 to 30 volts. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, just about. Um, output current limit of two milliamps to three amps. So it's it's a variable current, the current limit. Um, output voltage triple point zero one percent. Yeah. Anyway, um, so it does have a schematic. Uh, it does tell you how to turn it on and you know parts list and everything. So anyway, there is a schematic, and. Um, I looked through the schematic, and although at first glance it looks a little complicated, I thought it would make a really, really good series. Um, I like these series I've been doing on kind of like basics, and go step by step through circuits exactly what, uh, what each element does. And I think this will be a really, really good one because we have the schematic, we have the PC board, it's a kit you can buy, you could re replicate this on your own. So I think we'll do that, I think we'll go through it uh, step by step. Uh, we'll go through the input section. There's a clever thing down here. We can go through the output section um, and uh, the voltage control and then uh, finally the, the current control. So uh, how you do variable voltage and then how you do variable current, how you do current sensing. So I think, uh, I think this will be a really, really good introduction to uh, power supplies. And uh, we'll give you some ideas about op-amp circuits too, um, different ways to use op-amps. So. Um, yeah, that'll be really good. But now that we have it built, let's turn it on and see if it does something. Um, so the first thing is that it's an AC uh, input. So you need to have a transformer to, to input this thing and you have to have a transformer at the right, uh, right voltages. So it's, it says here on the PC board anywhere from 15 to 24 volts AC. And so I was looking around for a, uh, a power supply um, transformer and I remembered that I had built this. Uh, so if you remember, I did a, th a thing where I have this test transformer, and so there's a transformer inside, and uh, I bring out uh, two different uh, uh, taps. There's, there's, there's this and there's this. So we're going to be using the uh, 0 to 20 volts, so we're going to input 20 volts into this thing, which is right in its range. So let's hook up our, let's hook up our AC, doesn't matter which way, since it's AC. All right, and we'll turn on the transformer, and whoa, there we go, uh, it is working. So we have, we have an output, and this is, our, this is our voltage knob, so we can turn the voltage down on the, uh, on the output, so you can, see me, you can see me do that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it up again, and then we can turn down the current. So this is the current, and when I turn that down, uh, first thing you see is this LED come on, so this tells you are, you are in current, com uh, current mode, uh, current compliance mode. And so we can run this at a constant current. That's the CC, constant current. And uh, we can do voltage. So there you go, it's working It's working really, really good. So anyway, uh, I think what we'll do is we will um, go ahead and uh, stop this video here. And then I will start up with a, uh, a basic uh, electronics tutorial on the different sections of this power supply. and. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be fun.